Bilateral shoulder replacement is not as common as bilateral hip replacement or bilateral knee replacement, partly because those are weight-bearing joints. The patient's specific instrumentation for anatomic total shoulders allows us more precisely to put the socket into the shoulder and pre-plan the surgery in the computer, and then basically utilize that plan and put it in, in reality in the operating room. I usually get a preoperative CT scan and that allows us to be more precise. I can basically pre-plan and do the whole surgery before it's even done in real life. It'll put the implants in exactly how I planned it, in, in a perfect spot. It's 3D printed and it's just a plastic composite and it's pretty durable. Similar to total knee replacement or total hip replacement where you have a titanium implant and a polyethylene socket allow for that really frictionless motion. All this can be sterilized, given to the surgeon, and, and it will click and be placed exactly. Typically with a shoulder replacement, there's not a lot of inpatient hospital stay. People either can go home the same day or the next day. When you immobilize the patient in a sling for about five to six weeks, they can do some passive motion, elbow motion, and then they start therapy. Shoulder replacement should last somewhere between you know, 15, 20 years. And this replacement can be revised later on, and we're gonna be there every step of the way.